now we like our Honorable Chief Guest, Group Captain Ram Vishu. To the orders, please. I also request our Principal Ram to accompany him, please. Head boy. We did believe that the leader is the one who goes the way, shows the way, and leads the way. He we all can be the change agent and looks at his role as a great opportunity for him to foster in his fellow mates the love for mother and mother. Sweeper day, environment friendly Captain Good. As the, as the most good happens, the best way to teach others is to be a good role model yourself. And encourage others to do so. He is focused, passionate, and sincere. A great leader and a team player. We are confident that he will, as a responsible captain, be able to harness the potential of his house students and encourage everyone to take part in all the events. Harshit, a house captain, he primary. Harshit is a cheerful boy. He uses common sense to solve problems independently in a positive manner. <laughs> Samadrita Vakacharya, a big captain. Samadrita regards the school to be a place of worship. She exhorts everyone should adhere to the principles of the school and hopes to take her house forward and scale great heights. Harini, a big house captain girl in pink primary. Harini is a calm and composed child. She does her work with enthusiasm and interest. She always wants to excel in whatever she does. <laughs> Rahul, mentor at school, she wants to provide a platform to her teammates to showcase their strengths in all areas. Now 
are head Bob and head girl, Nidin Raina and Shulia Soma. Let me compliment all the kids 
who had participated in this precursor to my speech. I deeply appreciate it. At the outset, my heartiest congratulations to all those who had been bestowed upon the responsibility of being an appointment. This investiture ceremony indeed reminds me of my days in the school wherein 37 years back I was also appointed as a school boy of the Ray Davis High School at a place called Ray Davis. Thank you. From there, I started a new journey in my career. The firm belief of my teachers in my attitude and aptitude to handle the responsibilities gave me more strength and confidence. There was a total shift in my vision wherein earlier I used to see things in my own perspective but with the added responsibility of being the head boy of the school, the vision or the focus shifted to the overall perspective of the school. For example, in the earlier days, I believed in self-development of myself, but with the added responsibility of the record, it became the overall development of the school. Along with my schoolmates, the words inviting discipline and encouraging my schoolmates to develop bonding as a team. Secondly, as an individual, children, we should always strive to self-discipline in all aspects of life. Once you inculcate this habit in your daily routine, it becomes your character. A person is always judged by his or her character. And you should be worthy of it. When we tend to deviate from it, the self-discipline, it is a time when the enforced discipline would be introduced. The role of the teachers and the parents takes up front seat towards enforcing discipline, if required. Thirdly, the role of your teachers and parents in ensuring a good future to all your children, for that you should be graciously, they should be graciously complimented. If it not, for their undying efforts, you will, and I repeat, you will not be what you are and what you will be. Their sacrifices towards developing you academically and otherwise, cannot be measured. The impact of their hard work would be seen when you develop into a role model and become successful in your future. Fourthly, as a child, you should dream. Your dream should be to reach the heights. Only if you dream, you think you can think of achieving it and by planning to achieve it. May I take this opportunity to bring before you all that this great country of ours had and has produced many Dr. Sarvekali Radha Krishnan, Dr. Abdul Kalam, Virat Golis, Sanya Mirzas, Saina Nevals, TV Sindhus, Tatas, Ambani's, and Narayan Mokis, and also Nilipinas. And many more such distinguished personalities may have. Everyone has excelled in their sphere of influence. You should look up to them and understand how much of hard work had gone behind their success. Fifthly, this investor ceremony being held today has a great significance in your life in imbibing the characteristics of selflessness. This is the first time that additional responsibility starts thinking beyond your self requirements. This is a moment when an individual is entrusted with authority and responsibility to lead and exercise powers among the peer group. This is the occasion when you are given the role of a leader. The ceremony, therefore, is the first step towards imparting the leadership skills in the young boys and girls starting the school. So when somebody asks me as to how you define a leader, I would like to quote none other than Dr. Abdul Kalam, who said, I quote, a leader must have a vision passion and not be afraid of any problem. Instead, you should know how to defeat it. Most importantly, you must work with integrity. Unquote. For those who have not been appointed, not to get disheartened. 
you two will surely go out to become fine, wise and good citizens and achievers with dedication, direction and hard work. The young boys and girls, you are the pillars of the nation in future. It is you who will bring about the change or make the difference in the development of this country. The education imparted to you plays a vital role in your individual development and contributes towards the overall development of the nation. It should be your endeavor to dedicatedly acquire the knowledge imparted to you and use it to bring about the change for the better future. Every one of you should aspire to be a part of the better future which you would then lead to our which would then lead to our nation's development. I would like to touch on the qualities that you should acquire in mind. Become a good leader. To be a good leader, you must always have a vision. You should know how to manage the success as well as the failures. A leader must be able to travel into an unexplored path and not into a well laid out path. In fact, the leader makes his own path. The leader must have the courage to take the decision and more importantly, he, should work. he or she should work with integrity. You as appointments should be a role model to your peer group as well as to your seniors and juniors in school. Everybody will look up to you with great expectations. It should be your endeavor to excel in everything you do and be an example worth emulating. I can define the importance of this investiture ceremony by saying leaders are not born but made. You as students not only aim to achieve academic excellence but also strive to participate in extracurricular and sports activities. Sports field is one of those places where you learn the real lessons of life. The delight of handling, the victory and not to get disheartened by defeat. It makes you so strong that if you play with true sportsman spirit, you will learn from your mistakes and emerge as a winner the next year. This whole true real life. Country not only needs good academician but also good citizens for the overall development. So invite the good habits to become a good citizen in the country needs today. To be a good leader, one should think ahead of time. To do this, one should be mentally and physically agile. Kautilya, properly popularly known as Chanakya once said. I quote, as a king is, so will be subjects. To simply put it, the lead, if the leader is energetic, so will be his subjects. So will be his subjects. And vice versa. So you all should aim to be always energetic in all your endeavors. The other facets which you should look into when entrusted with authority is that you should not lose your honesty and integrity. As a leader, you should strive and invite honesty and ethical behavior. And you can see that in your team too will invite the same. The leadership is about serving others, not being served by others.